Verify if Java is already installed. Open a terminal and use the following command Java minus version. If you don't have Java installed in your system, you will see an output like this. Basically, Ubuntu is giving you a hint about the various packages you can install to get Java. Default JRE, OpenJDK 8, JRE Headless, etc. Clear the screen. First, update the system packages using APT tool, Advanced Package Tool. It is a free software user interface used for the installation and removal of softwares in Ubuntu. So we are updating the packages here. So we are done with the update. So let's clear the screen. Now let's ins install default JRE, Java Runtime Environment. It is required to run Java programs. So enter Y. Enter Y to proceed with the installation of JRE Java Runtime Environment. So the installation is progressing. Okay. Okay, so once we get done, we are done with installation of JRE. Clear the screen. Let's verify to check whether the JRE is installed successfully or not. For that, use the command java minus version. Okay, so you can see JRE is successfully installed. We can see the version there runtime environment let's clear the screen now let's check if whether a java compiler is installed or not okay so java c minus version is the command so we can see we don't have a java compiler yet okay go with the suggestions given by ubuntu let's clear the screen once again okay so see we have a command here sudo apt install default jdk java development kit okay enter y to proceed with installation of java development kit so java development kit provides an environment to develop compile execute our java program so we are done with the installation of JDK Java Development Kit. So let's clear the screen to remove the logs. So let's check the compiler version now. Java C minus version. Okay. So now we can see we have installed, we have a Java compiler now. 